All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking about lenses and which lens I would choose if I could only choose one. So if you would have asked me this question back when I first got into photography, hands down, I would have chose the 24 to 70 millimeter. But now that I'm a little further down the line in this photography journey, I'm going with the prime. I'm going with that low F stop, shallow depth of field, 85 millimeter. I think the 85 millimeter focal length is hands down the best focal length for portraits, street photography, detailed shots, landscape, whatever you want, this thing has you covered. There are some limitations, but uh, nothing that's held me back very often. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the reasons why I think the 85 millimeter is the best focal length out there. Let's get it. All right, reason number one is the depth and the range you get with this thing. So as a street photographer, I like taking candid street shots and with 85 mil, you don't have to be so intrusive with the subject. You know, you don't gotta be right up on them as if you were shooting with a wide angle. You can kind of step back, not be all up in their face, all up in their grill, making them nervous or, or changing up their movement because you want that candid shot. You want it to be natural. And that 85 millimeter focal length allows you to just kind of get up in there with, with maintaining a distance. You throw the F14 on there, you got that range plus that depth. Oh, it's tasty. It's just tasty. So, especially for you new street photographers out there, um, I get a lot of questions asking if I ever have any bad encounters or um, people get mad when I take their photo. And to be honest, I've never ran into a bad situation, a bad encounter, but I could understand the nervousness if you're just getting into it trying to have your camera and someone see you taking their picture. It could be a little off-putting. That's why the 85 millimeter will give you that little bit of range, that little bit of separation and allow you to get those bangers. So that's reason number one. Let's move on to reason number two. All right, reason number two, portraits. I think the 85 millimeter focal length is hands down the best portrait lens. They say the 85 millimeter makes the face look most natural. You throw on a wide lens, you get a little bit of distortion, you get a little bit of face exaggeration, making the nose look bigger, the face look more bulged, the ears might be smaller, nose bigger, etc. They say the 85 millimeter makes the face most appealing. So that that's a good start, right? But also, the background separation that you get with 85 mil at f1.4 is just chef's kiss, right? There's nothing better. And uh, also, gives you a little bit of separation from your subject, especially if your subject isn't used to being in front of a camera. They can get a, it, it can be a little off putting for them to have you right up in their grill with a 24 mil, right? And they could freeze up, get tense, get shy, and and it might not uh, result in the best pictures. So with 85 mil on, you're back there doing your thing, they're up there doing their thing, and you're just getting heaters all across the board, just straight heat, fire, bangers. It's, it's a beautiful thing. The, the bokeh and shallow depth of field is just second to none. So that's reason number two. I'm not sure Move I understand. On to she don't understand, but hopefully you do. Let's move on to reason number three. All right, reason number three is that it forces creativity. And what I mean by that is if you have a zoom lens on and you need a different angle or perspective, you could just hit the rim, zoom in, out, got your shot, you're done. But when you're fixed at 85 mil, forces you to kind of get creative and uh, look at the shot scene from a different perspective and you end up with some really cool unique shots because of it. 
And uh, I like standing out from the pack. I like getting those unique shots that uh, aren't just run of the mill. And this thing will definitely force you to think outside the box and it'll help you grow as a photographer. So when I first got this lens, it was a little frustrating at first, but after about a week, man, it, it changed my outlook on how I seen things and it helped me grow as a photographer. So if you haven't shot with an 85 mil, I highly recommend it. Go to your local camera store shop and rent one before you buy it, check it out. You'll fall in love, I guarantee it. Um, if you got another lens that you like or you choose or uh, another focal length, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys think and maybe there's something I need to try out. But other than that, figured I'd make this video. A lot of people ask me what lens I use and you know, 99% of the time it's the 85 millimeter. So I appreciate you guys watching today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, queries, thoughts, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. I'll make sure to answer all you guys. I appreciate all you guys watching the channel. And uh, if you don't already, what are you doing? Like and subscribe, you know what I mean? Bing, touch the button, you're done. But um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Later. I love that. Do, oh, do, do some sh multiple. God damn. Deep dive, boom, get it out, done. Do it to them, bing bang, good morning.